Ow. Oh, hi there. Welcome to my office here at Syrtec headquarters. Today we're going to be learning the proper procedure for switching out firewalls. Your existing Cisco Pix firewalls have reached end of life status and are being phased out by Cisco. To replace these, we have selected the FortiGate series of firewalls. These are very robust firewalls, trusted by companies like JCPenney's, General Motors, and even the U.S. Army. These new firewalls have the capability to help screen out malicious software, such as spyware and Trojan horse infected websites. They also give us the capability to monitor web usage on a per-user basis. This will make it easier to identify areas of vulnerability in web usage, so we can help make the user aware of the risks they're taking and help ensure a safe working environment for everyone. Well, let's get started. This is a Cisco PIX 501 Stateful Packet Filtering Firewall. Each remote office has one of these, and we have to know where it is to replace it. Amarillo, yours is in the supply room on the shelving unit. Midland and Odessa, yours are both located near the reception workstation. And Clovis, well, yours is in the secondary testing room on a shelf, and you'll probably need a ladder to switch that one out. Please feel free to pause the film here and find your firewall. If you already know where it is, let's continue. This is really going to be pretty easy, and I know all of you are going to negotiate this task perfectly, so don't worry. Once you have ex identified your existing firewall, we'll need to look at the wires coming in. I'm going to get you a closer view. Fortunately, we only have to focus on one in particular for our changeout. You'll also notice this four port hub. Some of you may have more than one cable plugged into these ports. That's okay. We just want to make sure not to get these wires, these wires confused with the one that's currently in port zero. While we're here, let's get a marker and identify the one that is in port zero, just in case. Look to see the one that is in port zero and take a marker and mark that wire in case we forget which one it came out of. Perfect. Now we'll get the replacement firewall. Let's set them side by side and take a look at the new firewall. You'll notice a few more ports, but don't worry, this is going to be simple. You'll notice a little dot above the port labeled WAN1 on the new firewall. This is the port that the wire we marked will go into. Pretty simple, huh? Let's plug it in now. So far I have unplugged the wire that we marked, the one that was in the PIX firewalls port 0, and plugged that into the port on the new firewall labeled WAN1 with the little dot above it. That's the first step. As long as your PIX and your FortiGate have the wiring configuration shown here, we can continue. If you are not able to negotiate this so far, please stop where you are and call George. The wires remaining in the PIX firewall in the four port hub need to be moved over to the four port hub in the new FortiGate firewall. The four port hub here is labeled by the word internal and has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 above it. Some of you may have more than one wire in the four port hub. That is okay. Move all of the wires that are in the existing firewall's four port hub into the four port hub of the new firewall and it does not matter which one of the four ports that it goes into. Pretty easy. If your wiring configuration now looks similar to this with the wire that we marked in the WAN1 interface on the new firewall and the wires from the four port hub off of the old firewall moved into the four port hub onto the new firewall, then we can continue. If you have not been able to negotiate this, then we need to stop now and call George. At this point, you should have one or two wires left in your Cisco PIX firewall. If you only have one wire, that's perfect. If you have this other blue ribbon cable in here, then just send that back with the other firewall. Leave it plugged in and just wrap it around it and send it back in. For purpose of this discussion, I'm going to unplug it to get it out of our way and deal with the remaining wire in the Cisco PIX firewall. That is the power supply wire. What we need to do is follow, trace that back to where it plugs into a power strip. 
when you've identified the power strip that it goes into, unplug it, and take the old Cisco PIX firewall and its power cable and power unit and put them in the box that you received your new Fortinet firewall in. In that box you will find an address label to send that back at your earliest convenience. Inside the box that the new firewall came in, you will find a power converter and a power cord. Find these and use them to power on the new FortiGate firewall. Plug it in to the same port that your old firewall came out of in the power strip, which in mine was located over here. Now you should have at least two wires in your new Fortinet firewall a wire that is plugged into the one with the dot above it that also has that is also the wire that we marked corresponding it to be the outside interface wire you should have another wire plugged in to the one of the ports on the four port hub or possibly more than one you should also have the power supply plugged in now that we have that let's look at the front and see if we have any flashing lights We should have some little lights twinkling away on the front of the firewall, and if so, pat yourself on the back and congratulations, you have negotiated this task perfectly. Now that you've finished switching out the firewall, it's time to call Suratech and let them know that it's ready to be tested to see if it's working. Hello, Suratech? You were right. Switching out the firewall was fun and easy, and I am ready for a certified network security engineer to check my connectivity. Thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video. Your help in this is greatly appreciated and will reduce the amount of time it takes to get everyone up and running. Now that we're done, I know what you're thinking. What would be a nice gift for me to get my IT guy? I know this comes up a lot. And I know how frustrating it can be not knowing what your IT guy likes. Well, in an effort to relieve some of this frustration, I have drawn upon my years of experience and have put together a few ideas that I know are well received by IT guys everywhere. Gift cards. I know gift cards seem a little impersonal, but just remember the old saying, it's not the card, it's the amount on the card that counts. Alcohol always well received by the true network professional. Or one of these. World's best computer guy mug. No IT guy can get enough of these. I know keeping your computer guy happy is something you struggle with every day. And I hope I've been able to help in some small way. Thank you.